So we have seen what functions are and how they can take arguments. Uh, we have even written uh, a function that can take one argument and do something with it. So what about function that can take more than one argument? So let's try out one function. So you know that in a right angle triangle, like the hypotenuse is nothing but uh, sum of square root of sum of squares. Okay, so that's the thing. And uh, let's write a function to calculate hypotenuse, right? So I'll just copy this and uh, we just put a new file, right? Saying, calling it as hypotenuse, right? And this is my practice, okay? So Oh, and now let me just create a function called hypotenuse, right? And to this, let me just give two sides of a triangle as arguments, A and B, right? So, like, now what I need to do is, like, okay, like, I need to square A and B. So, uh, that's squaring, okay? So, that's squaring A. And that's squaring B. And now I need to add it. Well, okay, good enough. Now I need to do square root of this one, right? Oh, does math square root work? and enter yeah it works so yeah that's it our hypotenuse is ready so this is how like rather than just getting just one argument we are getting two arguments a and b and we are using in this formula that is the hypotenuse formula so as simple as that okay so now let me just load this option enter or alt enter depending on your os and let me just use it h y p o P E N U S E and then three and four and it gives me five. I know this is right because I'm being I, I just know like okay three and four makes hypotenuse five. Okay, so uh, almost everyone who knows math kind of knows it. Okay, so like so yeah, this is right. Okay, so this is how you do with multiple arguments, right? And uh, yes, right. Uh, okay. Okay, so now, okay, like you've got uh, a function with uh, two arguments. So what if you want a function to accept, okay, like multiple arguments, like it can accept one argument, two argument, possibly more, or let's see how to do that. Okay, so I've got this one, right? Okay, so function multiple arg arguments dot CLG. Let this program be here. Let me just write it on my own, right? Okay, so that's the thing. Uh, let me put a new file. Save it. Okay, right. So you can, I think, uh, put a function with underscore, right, in closure. That's that's not wrong okay so i'll just put option enter yeah you've got a function if i just call it it should return nil okay so it is a function multiple okay so it is a function right but yeah like i, I like the closure way of doing it with a hyphen right so that's the thing so let's say like you want this function to take in one argument or two arguments and do something right okay so so let me just put like okay arg1 okay so and uh, let me just write a function body for this okay right so i think you need to put something like this uh mm, okay okay sorry yeah so i think you need to put something like i forgot right Oh, okay, so you need to pass this as a list. So, 
a list over here so uh, this will just accept just one argument actually one and uh, print len argument past is okay erg one right okay that's good now let me define uh, something what will happen if this function take two arguments okay so arg1 and arg2 right so uh printlin okay let me just copy and paste this arguments mentx pass this r1 and r2 right so yes okay so multiple arguments yeah i just loaded into the ripple using option enter or alt enter depending on your os okay so multiple arguments and if i just say like one argument okay argument pass is one right okay that's good and if i say argument pass one two it automatically goes to this place okay so similarly like uh, we can put for no arguments too like this one right print len okay uh i think this i haven't put it in i haven't put in the book but, but yeah i just want to explain right print len okay no arguments passed okay fine so now i can okay but oh here like look if i just put like okay like uh multiple arguments and i just call this it'll say error now if i just load this into ripple now if i just call this multiple arguments it'll say no arguments pass okay good enough now okay like one argument one argument has been passed and two arguments have been passed okay so that's how it is right so yes uh, we are getting uh, so this is how you can write functions that can respond to multiple number of arguments right okay so uh that's the thing right okay now what about unlimited arguments so you you know this plus function right so this plus function can accept a lot of arguments. Okay, so plus, if I just put just plus, I think that can that will also work. If I put plus eight or something, that will work. If I just put eight, nine, and that will also work. And I can just keep putting something like minus nine, seven, eight, one, three, minus seven, and yeah, that will also work, right? So how to write a function that will that can accept any number of arguments or something like that right so okay so unlimited args okay so that's the thing okay so uh okay so let me just copy this function name right and put in sorry copy the file name and and put a new file right okay unlimited arguments okay so right so let me just use this name so defn unlimited arguments i like to have it as hyphen and uh, and you just put something like this okay and args look instead of args you can put any name i'm just putting args because it's short form of arguments okay so so that's that's the thing so now you can do something put something that humans can understand so print len arguments passed and over here you can just put args okay so that's the thing right so now let me just uh, run this unlimited arguments right so right okay uh, now let me just pass something right uh okay some letter y and then six and 
I don't know what else. Okay, like eight and okay, fine. Now option enter. So arguments pass is y six eight. Okay, it looks like a list, right? So now we'll just do something. We'll just put another print in, and we'll just put like okay, type of arguments, type of args. Okay, args. And now we'll just try to print the type of args. Okay, so unlimited arguments. Okay, now we run it again. And it's called something called array sequence. I don't know what really array sequence means, but you can remember this as list or something like that, right? So that's how it is. And uh, yes, so right. And okay, fine. Uh, right. Okay, so uh, now let's look at another variant. Okay, so like okay, I'll just copy and I'll just paste it. Okay, so I'll just copy it and paste it right over here. Wait a second. Okay, unlimited arguments too, right? Okay, so this is another thing. Okay, so so okay. So uh, now let me just copy and paste it. Okay, so okay, so why it's not formatting? Uh, I'm really not sure. Okay, now let me just copy it and paste it. Yeah, I don't know what happened before, I did something wrong, I'm not sure. So look uh, over here we have got this function unlimited arguments right let me just load it into ripple by pressing option enter right so uh, i'll just execute this one right so okay unlimited arguments y 6 8 and all those things or let me just execute this one okay so unlim okay like uh, this one i'll just execute this one over here option enter and it just says first argument is one so what happens is uh, and other arguments as arguments as nil so what happens is this one is being captured by this first arc first arc okay and it just says okay the first argument is first arc and then other arguments is args okay so args is nothing like after this has captured one there is nothing else to capture so it becomes nil so whatever uh, that comes after this and wants to take all other arguments but over here there's no arguments so it says still okay so that's the thing now let me just execute okay so now uh, the first argument is one okay so this one has been captured by the first arcs what is left okay so uh, 17 true karthik coder uh, this has been captured by this arcs okay so that's it so you can uh, take this as a list but in fact it is called something called as array sequence and all those things which I really don't know exactly what it is. Okay, so I don't think for a beginner needs to know. Uh, and unless, unless and until you're just doing some very, very crazy stuff with programming, maybe it's uh, not worth to bother. Okay, so that's the thing, right? So, yeah, so the first one will be captured by this first args, and the rest will all go to this args. Okay, that is any variable that is after this and. Okay, it doesn't need to be named as args i'm just telling you you can name it whatever you want but i'm just keeping it as args because that's convenient for me right so that's the thing 
So similarly, right, we have got another thing, right? So another function, sorry, another piece of code. So, okay, let me just copy it, paste it. But if you're learning, I hope you type it rather than this copy pasting thing, which won't help you learning. Okay, so now let me just load this unlimited args over here, right? So now the uh, if you have guessed it right, the first one will be captured by this one. The second one will be captured by okay, that is first argument. One will be captured by first args. The two will be captured by second args, and rest will be captured by args. So like okay, so now if I just execute this. It says second argument is true, true and other arguments are nil. Okay. But one thing that cannot be done over here is you can't just call this with just one argument, right? So that will just true and error. Let us have just one argument. Okay. So let's have it like 42, right? So that will true and error because uh, you, do, you need to pass first argument and second argument and maybe some optional arguments. But without any one of these, uh, it will throw an error, right? So you need to pass first argument and second argument. So this is right. Okay, so that's the thing. So now, okay, if you have guessed it right, over here, what will happen is one will be captured by the first args, 17 will be captured by the second arg, the first arg, one will be captured by the first arg, 17 will be captured by the second arg, and rest will be, that is like true Karthik coder, will be captured by args, right? So that's how it is. Okay, unlimited arguments. Okay, so that's the thing. As I said, first argument is one, second argument is seventeen. Other arguments are true Karthik coder, right? So that's how it is. That's called. That's been captured in a variable type called array sequence, right? So that's it. Okay, so that's it for multiple arguments in a function. Uh, so until we meet next time, bye.